For anyone to realize the real danger that the COVID-19 pandemic has impacted on tourism, then a trip to Ginger Town will paint the perfect picture, renowned for its touristic grandeur, and especially at the source of the Nile, that on an average sees about 500 tourists visit per day. What happens there now is in real stark contrast. Deserted doesn't even describe what exactly is witnessed at this venue that is usually home to nationals from all over the globe, especially about this time when the weather, one can say, is sweet. This was the epicenter of excitement and the hive of activities before the COVID-19 outbreak. The source of the Nile in Ginger has since been deserted and it is a shadow of its former self. To say the source of the Nile is empty isn't far off true description because as one approaches, the sound of birds is what remains with no form of human life, let alone life itself, rather but nature which bestowed upon Uganda the tag Pearl of Africa. They are, they are deserted and the tourists they are not coming because of this corona. Because uh, uh, the, the transport, they cannot walk to come here. They cannot use a border border. Yeah. There are so many activities like uh, boat cruising, um, those people selling the craft sea, the photographers, and uh, the restaurant. But now? But no, all of them, nothing is working. For anyone that has been to the source of denial prior to the COVID-19 pandemic that witnessed double jeopardy by the rising water levels, a visit there now leaves a bitter test. The shops selling crafts that in the past were a must visit to anyone, they are under lock and key, while the hotels that provided home to revelers that enjoyed their parting on the lake shores are submerged by waters as a result of a rise that hasn't spared River Nile and its environs. The people are working here. This way will not be easy to come up very early. It will take like a year to resume. The activities which and uh, the value of the, uh, the money which are, we have lost it like in 500 million. The famous bars dealing in all kind of liquor and soft drinks that people sipped while watching game at the mini zoo set up by Uganda Wildlife Education Centre is now buried in history as the Nile River seems to relocate its former boundaries. But all hope isn't lost by members of the public that aren't big from the trade at this spot that houses big parts of Uganda's tourism with prayers towards an end to the COVID-19 pandemic whose economic devastation in just two months has already hit the two billion mark. Ngabo Amon, reporting for UBS TV.